What's up, YouTubers? I'm gonna show you how to, the easiest way there is to take a drive shaft in and out of a side-by-side <clears throat> -side RZR players. Uh, you don't have to take none of the front end apart, none of that stuff that they're saying in the other videos. I already got the other shaft out, so I'm gonna show you how it goes back in, but take off front tire. And that's just so you can get at this hole right here. So all you gotta do is make a big old punch. I put it in there and I tapped it right through in two seconds. So that was out. I put it up on blocks here just for the convenience and to be able to get underneath of it easier. But <laughs> I'm going to show you how we can slide the shaft in from the back. Take the uh, console loose so it's moving around. You can push it up from down there. And there's some plastic right here too. It pushes against that and you got to shove it up real hard but it I snuck it out the back. Start to finish, I had the shaft out in 20 minutes. That's jacking it up, well, a half hour. Jacking it up, putting everything underneath it, all that too. So let's, uh, let's just see. Here's the new shaft. And from what I can see, it measures about the same. It gives you a new key to punch in the front, but from what I'm just eyeballing it, looks like the thickness, this is a little thicker than my other one was, and that's gonna make a difference pushing up on that plastic there to get it to slide back in. So we'll have to uh, check that out and see. But let's, let's go ahead and give her a shot. Okay. See how the shaft is going to come up underneath this brace. The problem is the back of the yoke, the shaft is going to hit this. So it rides on this plastic right here. I'm thinking about cutting a chunk out of this because this is what I have to push up on so hard to get the shaft to slide in. But it will slide all the way in from there. So coming in from the back, let's uh, hopefully you can see this. Coming up right here. God, I hope you can see that. Okay, so she's gonna slide up here. It has to get by this plastic. That was the bummer coming out. Mm. So. so like I said, the shaft is a little bit bigger. It has a full cover here. To come down over this piece here so i think what i'm gonna do is just take some of this out right here because it's fully covered from the piece up there anyway and this is wide open so i don't see that's going to hurt anything i'm going to take a cut out of here make that shaft go in easier and i'll turn it back on all right i think this is going to work what i did is i took my little cutter with my little grinding disc on it I cut a spot out right here. Now the console up here on top comes right down and bolts on this, covers this whole area. And there was already a hole here, you know, for whatever. So I didn't think this is going to make any fucking difference. It makes it a lot easier. So I uh, cut this out with the disc. Now the shaft should slide right in. I hope. Let's find out. Ah, 
Damn it. I just never know if this is pointed right, you know. I hope so. Okay. I hope it's pointed there and you can see. There's a slot. I see you start the drive shaft like this. The problem was it was hitting the rear end because you had to push so hard up on that plastic. Now it should go into that spot and should it make any difference. So let's give her a shot here. I hope that shows it. So you do is just lift the back of the shaft up, slide it up here. Look at that. Went right by that knuckle. Uh, let's see if it'll go the rest of the way. If I can get it by this rear end here. Okay, it went through there okay. Now what we got to do is get it get this knuckle to go by this rear end. This was the problem I had pushing up on it. Like I said, this this uh, shaft is bigger around than the other one. I hope this is not a freaking problem. Damn it. Oh, look at that shit. Look at that. Going good. So far, now we have to get enough space back up front to get this far enough back to slide on the yoke. Let's see, I got the shaft right here. I don't know how. I'm gonna have to get out from underneath here. I think I got enough clearance up in front there now. Here's the shaft back here. Look at that. Oh, can you believe that? Check it out. Look at that. Now we gotta do is get that uh, knuckle on the right way so it lines up with that hole. Okay, I gotta, I gotta put this down. I can't lift that up and move it around without it, but all you gotta do is get that positioned in there where the hole meets the key. Put the key in, I'm done. So what, 15 minutes? Took me about 15, 20 minutes to pull it out. Took me 15 minutes to put it in. Cutting that little piece of plastic out of there and taking it out the back. So I'll catch you in a short. Okay, there she is. tap back in. Took a little bit of lining up. <clears throat> Took a little lining up, but the hardest part of this whole job was getting that lined up to get the keyway back through. Otherwise, what a freaking breeze. This is the easiest way to do one of these. I just did the whole drive shaft. But the yoke in the front and back looked like the gears were a little worn anyway and by the time i bought a front yoke and a back yoke and the u-joints and all that i was only uh 30 40 bucks away from buying the whole thing 210 on amazon 
212 to my door, free shipping. Uh, the whole shaft, just put it in. But uh, you go in through the back, cut a little piece out of that plastic. When you go to shove it in, you'll see it hit that plastic. Cut a chunk out of that plastic, it went right on. Slid it on the back, shoved it on the front, on and off a few times till it lined up, tapped the keyway through. Easy peasy. I was so trying to put this off because taking the front end apart, take off the shock, take out the ball joint, do this, do that. <clears throat> Here's an easy way. So I'll get this up video up and uh, show you the easy way to do this. There you go. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.